what do you do when you first get here in the way of the old roof? Uh, so we sort of work right from left, so we sort of find a good place to start, and then um, we'll crack on taking the netting off, and then ridge comes off, and we'll take the, the top layer of reed off, so the new thatch, as you could say, and then we'll strip that down from top to bottom, um, but we'll uh, we'll leave the top two thirds of old old roof underneath on, which gives us a good sort of fixing point to put the new uh, new roof on. It's just on Ooh. for nothing. Just the dust. All so, right. Yeah, section here, for some reason, it's just gone completely knackered. Do the same in between the windows over there. Whether it was crap reed or, or what, we do not know. If it may have been damp when we put when he put it on. In a job like this, so many bundles of reed do you think have been carried up there? So the main roof we've used about two and a half thousand to three thousand bundles of Austrian water reed, plus all your wheat reed for the top, which is about about fifty bundles of wheat we reckon maybe. Certain, certain bundles are more tapered than others, certain are bigger than others, so they use them in different parts of the roof. You've got a bigger little back that fits in, so I might use a bigger bundle to fill up the back. Whereas when you get a hip end and you need to turn, you start using tape of reed because it's all coming together at the top. So it, it helps if you get your reed to sort your reed out as you go. It's a bit like stone walling, something like that. You mm. wouldn't use a big stone on the very top, you can put it on the bottom. Mm. Same principle. Here, the, the, the depth of the, the coat that we're stripping off, so we'll strip this off, that will come off, and that will reveal the back coat that's under there. And we fix into that down below here. We've got some timber, so we've gone into that there. But these spores they fix into there, so they fix in quite well. So you've got slights there, and you can that was onto timber, screwed in there. And then once you're up there, you take your shape with that. These rods come here. Fix in there so that's making the back coat tighter, and then my main fixing on there goes into there, and that holds it on. And then again, I put a top fixing on there, 
that on the next lane gets fixed into that where it's a tight bite. And then that's you know, uh, as simple as that, really. Yeah, we strip it down to the bare timbers down here, so you've got something firm to fix into on the base. But that's why Devon, Devon roofs tend to be, you know, a little roundedness on them. It's because you're going up and over other coves that are already existing. Whereas up country, when they do it a lot on just on the timbers, the roof is a lot sharper. So they're driving straight from the straight from the E, straight up because they're following timbers. Where here we, we've got to go over the back out, so you get that little rounded sort of temperature effect. Plus, it used to be done a lot more in wheat reed, which is more malleable and shorter. So you could you could even go up even further. Well, where, where is the reed now? This is about? this is water reed that we're thatching in now. And it's going this, this is Austrian. Yeah. Which is a lot longer than wheat reed, so you have to set the roof up slightly differently because you, you haven't got that the give in it, and you've got your, it's the length, so you have to set the roof up accordingly. But most of the roofs now that we do are in water reed. In fact, it's, it's, it's a much better material to thatch in, to be honest with you. Purely, if nothing else, it's because you've got the length and thatch wears back over a time, and that's when you get those spoil lines cut showing. So the, the longer the reed, in theory, the longer the roof should, should last because it, it wears back over time. These are crooks. That's the crook. That's a side pin. That's where we used to get that. That is a spore. That's what we fix in with. And that's a bit of rod. That's like modern technology for thatchers. That's come in in the last 30 years. Being well, in Belston, where it rains a hell of a lot, <laughs> I'd like to see it do 30 years. Yeah, but it, you do get a lot of rain up here. But 30, the ridge will last 10 years, but the sticks go. Yeah, the ridge is more exposed and the sticks rot out. So you, you're looking to do the ridge, but it's every 10, 10, 12 years, which is no great shakes. The, the trouble the, with the thatch roof, if you've got valleys and stuff like that, or sides of windows that channel an excessive amount of water down, or beneath chimneys where the, the water running off the chimney, you sort of like get double the amount of, of water going through it. So they would be weak spots, what you see as weak spots. Yeah, these are hazel spars, this is what we uh, sort of fixed down the roof with, so back in the day they used to come out as a stick like that, get a knife, chop them in free, and then a good twist like that. A little twist so you get like a, it almost springs it out as when you put it in the roof, it likes to naturally spread out like that, which keeps it tensioned. So what's the name of the pestle thing you got? This is a legget. Legget? Yeah. So it up. It's got grooves in the bottom of it, and it pushes, it pushes the reed up. So if you're almost hitting it at a sort of angle, it, it, the reed goes in there and it pushes the reed up. You're not hitting in the roof, you're hitting up. A bit like you'd hit a tennis ball with a bit of forehand, if you're in a bit of spin on it. You know? mm. I don't tend to patch up as many roofs as I used to when I come into the trade 30 years ago. I think it's, it's more aesthetically pleasing. In fact, I would say the standard of thatching is better now than it was because people want more from it. It has to be, it has to be aesthetically pleasing as, as well as practical. You know? Whereas before, that some of the old, old boys thatch it. <laughs> I don't know whether you would get away with it now.
I think we've been here working days probably about four weeks, four and a half weeks maybe. So between the three of us we, we crack on with it quite fast. So.